All right, guys, it's Jason here from RPM. I'm the lead research and designer for all of our snowmobile products. And I wanted to go over something that's kind of a controversy that we see online a lot, and that is the Gen 4 versus Gen 5 charge tube. On the Gen 4 Turbo Skidoos, the charge tube failed. And they were splitting, they were just bursting. It is what it is, it was a thin piece of rubber. Uh, maybe Skidoo could have done a little bit better. Gen 5 comes out, Skidoo never said they made it thicker. They just said, we changed it. That's all they did, it's new part number, and it is. They are literally the same charge tubes. The design's there. You can see everything, and they're exactly the same. Same shape, same everything. Um, and guys, uh, just pounding it online. They're stronger, they're better, you don't need a charge tube. Cool, you don't need a charge tube, don't buy one. No, I, we don't care if it fails in the mountain, you know, it's, that's, your, that's your problem if you don't want one. So the talk of it's stronger, I'm just trying to figure out, it's the same shape, same design, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I'm like, you know what? It's gotta be thicker. Of course, it's, it's gotta be thicker, right? So Gen 4, here's the part number um, for Gen 4. Here's the part number from a Gen 5. You can see we cut away a sample, so the samples are different sizes, so our little test can't be skewed. I'm gonna grab the Gen 5 sample that we took. We're gonna measure it. 2.3, measure it across, make sure we're getting a good sample. 2.34, measure it on top, 2.3. These samples, these samples that we cut away, they're taken from the same portion uh, of rubber, uh, same charge tubes. So you got 2.3 millimeters on the Gen 5 charge tube. So now let's measure the Gen 4, 2.3. This one's 2. Point, what the heck? I thought they made it stronger though. It's gonna be so much stronger. We're gonna have these failures on the Gen 5. 3.12, 3, back to the Gen 5, 2.2. That's weird, crazy. So there you go. The Gen 5 charge tube, it isn't stronger. Simple as that. The RPM charge tube, um, this one was what? 2 point, let's look at their measurement real fast. 3.2 we'll call it. Um, so if you wanna get a little sample on the RPM uh, charge tube, this is what you're working with. It's the difference. We advertise this charge tube as a uh, six ply, six millimeter thick charge tube. They usually run in a little bit thicker than that. So yeah, 6.7, 6.5, uh, somewhere in there. Uh, so significantly stronger. These are reinforced six times over. You could, I mean, you could probably run, give it 35 pounds of boost, for you still having it, 35 pounds safely. You're not running out on your snowmobile. So these are way overbuilt, they're super strong. Um, they're durable, they're stiff, but yet yeah, still flexible enough to flex between the airbox and motor. Um, you can pick it up at rpmssx.com. We got blow up out force boost, ref boost reference course, but that's not what this is about. This was just about comparing the Gen 4 and Gen 5 uh, charge tube. So there you have it. I just randomly pulled the charge tube. We have two of these ones. I just pulled one. It was crazy. I was actually feeling, I'm like, when I was walking back, I'm like, this one, the Gen 4 actually feels stiffer. Right? It's crazy. I was looking at the webbing and stuff. Like maybe it was something, maybe it was just hard from sitting, but no, it's just the Gen 4 is actually thicker than the Gen 5. So. I don't think that your uh, Gen 5 charge tube is going to be stronger there, guys. There you have it.